Welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. Thank you so much for joining me. This is episode 658, and um, I'm so glad that you tuned in. If you are a smoker, you probably want to listen, or actually maybe just uh, let me say that differently. You might not want to hear what I'm about to say because you're smoking and I don't want anybody telling you that you should stop. But uh, we're going to learn a little bit about uh, how smoking affects not only your dental health, but some of your uh, general health. And so uh, you may not, uh, well, let's just say pay attention, okay? All right, let me just tell you, well, how about this? Uh, before we get started, let me remind you that in about 10 minutes, we're going to uh, give away free flowers from DeSantis Florist, okay? They're going to be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. I'm going to give you the number to call now, but don't call yet. The number is 614-459-9769, and that's 614-459-9769, and so uh, uh, in about 10 minutes, okay? All right, and then... Um, if, uh, how about this? How about if you would go to my office Facebook page and like us? That would be awesome. It's Dr. Kavitko and Associates. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko. And just so you know, all of our past episodes are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com and we're streaming live on Facebook. Okay. So, like I said, we're going to be talking about uh, uh, basically the name of the show is Dr. Kavitko Discusses How Smoking Affects Your Dental Health as Well as Your Overall Health. Now, this comes from the fact that I've been doing CE online. It's live CE. It's really cool because the uh, uh, licensing agencies or boards, if you will, have decided that since we can't meet in person to do our CE, that if as long as it's live and we can interact with the presenter, that we can uh, receive credit for it. So when I'm, I'm doing CE, I'm typing in questions, I'm getting my questions answered, and the other thing I like about it is they tend to do it at six, seven, or uh, let's see, eight o'clock at night, and they're three hours. So one went till no, one started at nine. It was Pacific time, six six p.m. Anyway, so I'm able to do this um, at home uh, when um, maybe my day's over and I've already spent time with my wife, had dinner, and I really kind of I'm liking it because the other thing I've figured out is I can do it on my phone. And I'll go for a walk. So instead of sitting at my computer for three hours, I'll go for a walk and walk three, four miles or something and kind of combine it. So it's really, I'm really, I'm really getting into it. And in fact, one of the polls, the way they tell if we're still engaged is they ask questions about every hour. They don't tell you exactly when they're going to ask. And if you answer them, they know you're still engaged and you'll get credit. If you miss a question, they know you've uh, signed off or you were just pretending to be participating and you don't get credit. Well, one of the questions is, are you anxious to get back to in-person learning or do you love the webinars? And I love the webinars, I hate to say. <laughs> Some of the stuff, though, I think I would prefer to do in person when it's maybe going to be more on air. I I'm sorry, more uh, like uh, hands-on. Okay, so before I get started on this show where I'm going to be talking about the effects of smoking on your health and on your periodontal health specifically, I just want to tell you a story. I'm a non-smoker. However, when somebody asks me if I've ever sp smoked, I always answer yes, and here's why. When I was 12, I was a paper boy, and I got a bunch of new customers because they had a contest. If you got the most new customers, you would go on a trip. In this case, it was a trip to Montreal, Canada. Got to fly on a plane for the first time ever. It was TWA. Anybody remember TWA? And, uh, and so <coughs> I was like not even quite old enough to be a paper boy. I think you had to be 13, but my brother had had the route, and he had... My mom had vouched for me, and so they let me have the route. 
and um, it taught me a lot about business and, and about uh, you know doing the right thing and being on time and responsibility. So I go on this trip and on the get this on the plane by the way you're going to find this really really surprising many people they gave away little boxes that had four cigarettes in them but like you know the little crayon boxes with just four crayons it's the exact same thing except it was white it had the red lettering TWA <clears throat> not only could you smoke on a plane they gave away complimentary cigarettes um, I'm pretty much dating myself right so. Uh, I didn't I didn't really think anything of it, but the other boys were all older, you know, up to 18, were like scarfing these things up, and they were taking them and putting them in their pockets, and and I'm like, oh, I guess you're supposed to do that. So I grabbed a couple uh, of these little boxes, and uh, at each at the end of each day, after we had gone on our sightseeing part of the trip, uh, we'd come back to our cabins. It was it was a weird kind of a hotel where we each had little we all had uh, four of us in a room, but they were little cabins with a little courtyard. It was kind of, I don't even know the name of it. And basically, everybody would smoke their brains out. <laughs> just smoke, 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 smoke. For like three days. And I'm just a 12-year-old kid, right? And I'm doing this too. And I'll tell you what, <clears throat> after that three days, my eyes burned, my nose burned, my tongue burned. I just didn't feel... And by the way, on like day three, um, everybody, people were running out of cigarettes and they were selling them for, you know, a buck a piece. And one kid was old enough to go buy some across the street. And it was like, I never wanted to be around a cigarette again, ever. And guess what? I've never smoked a cigarette again. <laughs> so I guess I'm not suggesting that you do that. But if you want a child to, uh, uh, you know, maybe not want to smoke, I've heard of parents who make them eat one or something. <laughs> again, I'm not suggesting that. But, uh, and I'm so happy that I had that experience because I then am a non-smoker and even my my wife when she was younger had started to pick up cigarettes and uh, you know didn't realize she was kind of becoming addicted and uh, she may disagree with me but basically she only smoked when she was upset or um, trying to think what else it was something that you know okay well this sounds like a chain smoker in the making if we're not careful so luckily for me and for her she uh, did stop and I'm so grateful for that. So let me tell you a little bit about why I think it's so important that people not smoke, especially as a dentist. But uh, so smoking is the leading cause of preventable death. Oh, and by the way, I want to give props to the gentleman who uh, did this CE course for me. And so I'm using his information and I want to make sure that he gets credit. He teaches at the University of Alabama, Birmingham. His name is Dr. Nico C. Gurs. DDS MS. He's a professor of the Department of Periodontology. Okay. And uh, I really enjoyed his course. So, smoking is the leading cause of preventable death. Cigarette smoking is responsible for more than 480,000 deaths per year in the U.S. alone, and including more than 41,000 deaths that result from secondhand smoke. That's the most dangerous part. Secondhand smoke kills people as well. About, looks like about 10% of the deaths are from secondhand smoke. That would really suck, wouldn't it? You get lung cancer and you've never smoked. So about one in five deaths annually or about 1,300 deaths every day. 1,300 people die every day from cigarette smoking. On average, smokers die 10 years earlier than non-smokers. 10 years earlier. Oh my goodness, that's, that's crazy, right? Um, smoking costs the United States billions of dollars each year. The total economic cost of smoking is more than 300 billion a year, including nearly 170 billion in direct medical care for adults. So 170 billion is spent on medical care, and the other cost would be things like lost production. You know, um, uh, let's say a child loses a parent to uh, smoking lung cancer, and now they don't have a parent to provide for them, especially if it was a single fam a parent home, that sort of thing. So $156 billion is lost in productivity due to premature death and exposure to secondhand smoke. Okay. So if you want to compare that to other deaths or other, other diseases, so for example, um, the 480,000 that we're talking about includes lung cancer, but it also includes ischemic heart disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, strokes, other cancers, and other diagnoses, okay? So it's not all lung cancer, but it's all related to smoking. And that's uh, it's pretty important that we realize that. 
and I don't think a lot of people think of it much. So, <clears throat> cigarette smoking is the strongest modifiable risk factor for periodontal disease. It's the, it's the, 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 the easiest thing to do to not get periodontal disease. People who smoke are two to six times more likely to have periodontal disease than non-smokers. Two to six times. Now, you might say, well, why does it matter that I have periodontal disease? You know, you know don't really hear of people dying from that. You really don't. Uh, the reality is, is obviously they do because they have the, they get the cancers that were caused by the cigarettes. And then the periodontal disease is just kind of a side effect or a side note of that. <clears throat> and so, um, and I want to make sure you guys remember, because I always uh, include Dr. Kavitko's question of the day, includes the things we've just talked about. Okay, so we're not doing it right now, but let me just reiterate, smoking is the leading cause of preventable death. On average, smokers die 10 to, er, years earlier than non-smokers. Cigarette smoking is the strongest modifiable risk factor for periodontal disease, and patients who smoke are two to six times more likely to have periodontal disease than non-smokers. So remember that, or those. Okay. Now, the percentage of U.S. adults age 18 and older who were current cigarette smokers in 2015 was uh, the uh, data that Dr. Gers uh, presented. So 16.7% um, of every uh, 100 adults uh, 18 to 24, 20% 20 were 25 to 44, 18% were 45 to 64, and 8.5% uh, were 65 and older. So kind of evenly distributed until you get to an older age, and then I guess people realize they shouldn't have been doing that. Maybe they're stopping because now they have developed cancer of some kind. And so um, uh, I think that might be too little too late, honestly. But uh, anyway, okay. And then, uh, so here's something to keep in mind. Smoking leads to disease and disability and harms nearly every organ of the body. More than 16 million Americans are living with a disease caused by smoking. Smoking causes cancer, heart disease, stroke, lung diseases, diabetes, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, which includes emphysema and chronic bronchitis. I'm going to assume, <clears throat> I don't think it's an assumption, I think it's true, but I can't state a fact right now to, uh, to back me up, which is the people that are getting the coronavirus, the people that are coming down with COVID-19, smokers are disproportionately affected by this. People who already smoke and already have diminished lung function and have already damaged their organs are more susceptible. So they talk about being in one of those uh, you know, uh, groups of people that is more likely to get it. So that would be, uh, that would be smokers. Smoking also increases the risk of tuberculosis, certain eye diseases, and problems of the immune system, including rheumatoid arth arthritis. Isn't that something that it affects all of this? I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, looks like we're behind on going to Dr. Kavitka's question of the day. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll save a little bit of that for when we come back. And again, the phone number, 614-459-9769. Before we do the contest, though, we'd like you to listen to this. This station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kavitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household, prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kavitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kovitko's question of the day. All right, today we're talking about smoking and how it's a, how it affects your dental health and your overall health. Which of the following statements is true? A, smoking is the leading cause of preventable death. B, on average, smokers die 10 years earlier than non-smokers. C, cigarette smoking is the strongest modifiable risk factor for periodontal disease. D, patients who smoke are two to six times more likely to have periodontal disease than non-smokers. Or E, all of the above. All right, the winner is going to receive free flowers from DeSantis Florist. It'll be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. The number to call 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. You won't believe it though. I want to hear your mind. And 
there's nothing else in the world tonight She said people don't take the time don't take the time. Hey, what's going on? It's Keith Carlos, winner of America's Next Top Model and star of Chocolate City 2. You can look for my smile courtesy of Dr. Kavico on the CBS television network where I play Danny on the hit soap opera, The Bold and the Beautiful. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavico, the world's most interesting dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko. Well, we reopened back on May 1st, and I'm happy to say that things are going very well. Our patients are receiving the same great care we've always provided, and we are placing a huge emphasis on infection control. In addition to face shields, like the one I've worn since 1985, and of course exam gloves, my entire team is wearing surgical gowns and caps, and we are limiting the number of patients we have in the office at a time. I'm also happy to report that there's not been a single incident of COVID-19 associated with our office. Call us at 614-262-9580. Dr. Kavico, let's go! Yeah! Hi, I'm Johanna, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavico and Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavico for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavico, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavitko and Associates today. 614-262-9588. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. Okay, we're back. We have Hugh on the line calling in to guest Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. Hugh, how are you today? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Awesome, awesome. Do you have the correct answer? Yes, it would be all of the above. That's correct. Hugh, are you a smoker? Uh, no, I'm not. Good for you, good for you. Did you ever have an episode like mine? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's good that you're not a smoker. That's awesome. What do you do for a living, Hugh? I'm retired now, but I did work for uh, Lucent Technologies. Okay, awesome. Well, hey, stay on the line. We want to get the information where to send you those flowers, okay, from DeSantis? Okay. Okay, I thanks again. That. Hey, you're Thank welcome. Bye-bye you. now. I'm sorry I was interrupting him. <laughs> nice guy. Okay, if you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is The Reasons We Smile. It's episode number 658. And um, I'm looking down at my screen, and I'm seeing that the recording is, is uh, having a challenge. But anyway, I'll get the uh, for, for The Reasons We Smile Dot com, we do a video that has a slideshow of all of our of our topic, and it looks like uh, I'll have to redo that later. Okay, not a problem. So, if you're just joining us, we're talking about smoking and how it affects periodontal disease, and also can affect other parts of your body, and uh, it's pretty dangerous stuff. So, basically, uh, smoking can give you head and neck can head and neck cancer, lung cancer, leukemia stomach issues, kidney and pancreas, colon, bladder, cervix, even hip fracture, believe it or not, reduced fertility, chronic lung diseases and asthma, hardening of the arteries, pneumonia, heart disease, aortic rupture, gum infection, blindness, and stroke. <coughs> wonder why we smoke then. One of the things uh, that happened, and you can look back, I think my son, who collects some older items uh, to put on display, has a an old uh, commercial for, uh, I forgot, what, maybe it was Marlboro or whatever, but it had a physician that says, doctors smoke Marlboro. <laughs> My favorite cigarette for a doctor, I guess. And it worked. People bought it. And um, at the time, of course, nobody seemed to know that it was going to cause all of these issues. Although I do believe that there was some, uh, some uh, research that proved that the uh, tobacco companies did actually know that this was dangerous, but... Of course, they denied it for several, several years, and sadly, a lot of people had to uh, pay with their lives. Okay, so when it comes to the periodontal condition, periodontitis, if you're not familiar with what that is, when you, well, first of all, smoking decreases blood supply. And so when you get um, something on your teeth, plaque, piece of food, 
uh, calculus, which is what we call tartar, the first response of your body is inflammation. Inflammation is designed to bring more blood to the area. And it does that because it's, the body's thinking this. It's thinking, okay, there's something on my tooth. I don't like it. I want to get rid of it. Let's grow some new plumbing. So it grows some new plumbing with the idea it's going to pull this away, not realizing that these capillaries it grows are so tiny, a piece of food or plaque or calculus could never go through them. But if you don't have the same blood supply as, say, me as a non-smoker, um, not only does it not work, but it, it's, it's like a, uh, it it's exacerbates things. Right, so uh, that you can't get the extra blood supply, so then your your body uh, says, "Well, I still don't want to live next to this piece of dirt or plaque or food, so I'm going to migrate away. I'm going to move to a new neighborhood." So those uh, those gum fibers actually move uh, further down onto the root of your tooth, down on the lower, up on the upper, and it goes quicker in somebody who smokes because they lack the blood supply. So when and so what happens is is you get this very ugly smile. They used to call it getting long in the tooth because the gums have receded to the point where now you see roots and they look like horse teeth if they're your front teeth. And um, they eventually, so the bone has getting, is getting eaten away. Uh, you're losing bone, losing bone, losing bone, and then your teeth get loose. And then um, when you close down, they flay forward, they move out. You'll notice that people start getting spaces between their teeth that they didn't used to have. And that's a sign of periodontal disease as the bone is being affected. So I've had to remove all of the teeth in, one, in this, this gentleman's mouth. He was 27. Not a single tooth could be saved. I've had several people in that age range, think about this, didn't even reach 30. And I had to extract all of their teeth. Now people say things like, yeah, that's okay. I can always get dentures. Or yeah, that's okay. I can always get implants. Until the time comes, when it's like, okay, do I want to get an implant? Yeah, I want implants. And then they look and then they come in and they say, okay, I want to talk about implants. And we're like, okay. So we have different ways we can do it. We can do it with uh, mini implants. So we can do it with, you know what? I'm looking at the clock. Maybe I should save that for after the break because uh, my producer is going to kill me. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll cover that at, when we come back from the break. You're listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, episode 658. We'll be right back. You can take me as I am And I just a little bit I don't know who to be I'm a paper cup, baby, of the sea I know you see it too Cause you're too much for me This is Clark Kellogg Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko Aquí en su estación favorita Hi, I'm Dominique Reigert Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile radio and roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? <laughs> If you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is The Reasons We Smile. It's episode 658. We're talking about how smoking is so bad for you, and, it, it, and not only does it uh, affect all of your other organ systems, but it also, as a dentist, I want people to know that it is the most uh, uh, modifiable factor to prevent periodontal disease, and that if you smoke, you're two to six times more likely to have periodontal disease. If you have periodontal disease, you're more than likely to lose your teeth, and then you're going to be having to think about a replacement, which can be dentures or can be some form of implants. And we were going to talk about that before the break and decided to do it now. Okay, so if you have no teeth and you want something other than complete dentures, 
we can do mini implants, typically on the lower arch. That's four little buttons that go into the bone, and then your denture snaps over. It's still a denture. And on the upper arch, you still have a full plate of plastic that can sometimes affect the way food tastes. You don't notice the temperature of food because of the plastic in there. So that would be like your bare minimum of implants. But guess what, folks? Uh, having those four little mini implants is going to add about $4,500 to you, the cost of your lower denture. Okay? Whatever, And that's in, ad in addition to the cost of the denture. But you should keep in mind that we can take your existing denture, if you have one, and it doesn't fit, we can put those four mini implants in the lower jaw and affix them to your current denture. So then you're not having to pay for a new denture, you're just having to pay for the implants in that process. Unless you need a new denture, then you have to do it all. <clears throat> okay, the next step would be putting just a couple full-size implants in, making a person a bridge uh, that stays in, it's uh, cemented in, stays in, and uh, gives you a beautiful smile that never comes out. And then we can make you partial dentures for the back teeth so that if you have to take your par partials out for any reason, well, you only have to take out the back ones. And we could do that for the upper or the lower, but the cost of that also is very significant. You're probably looking at probably something in the neighborhood of twelve to $15,000. Isn't that something? Yeah, that's for just each arch, by the way. And then the next thing that we can do is what's called all on four, all on six, or all on eight. And what we do is we put implants that aren't necessarily parallel with each other, and you put them where you have good bone, and then we make a hybrid prosthesis that is screwed in. It looks like a partial denture because there's nothing covering the palate, but there are no clips, no clasps that show, and it's screwed in, and you can't take it out, but your dentist can take it out. And that's probably something in the neighborhood of fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000. Now, why am I telling you these numbers? To make you stop smoking so you don't need this. Right, Because I've always felt like I'm a better dentist if I can prevent you from having to spend a bunch of money. If I can save the tooth you have, that's cheaper than me having to uh, charge you for taking it out, placing an implant, and putting a crown on it. And then the final uh, version of that would be parallel implants. And that's where I put implants. So let's say, okay, all your teeth are missing, or I just took them out. I'll put an implant, two implants on each quadrant, lower right, upper right, lower left, upper left. And then I'll make a bridge that goes from the front one to the back one. That'll give you three teeth, three chewing teeth in each corner. And then I'll put an implant in the corners where your cuspids used to be, the pointy ones, canines. And I'll run a bridge from uh, those two across the front. So now you have these be this beautiful smile. It doesn't come out at night. Nothing covering the tissue. But that can get up into the $73,000 range, believe it or not. And you know what? We don't really make any more money when we do those than we do when we do the less expensive ones. It's all essentially... Um, the cost of the components, the, the lab expense, our time, and uh, in relation to other things that we do, we make about the same, if you will, per hour. It's just that it's, you know, it just gets really expensive. So what's the moral of this story? Stop smoking or don't start, okay? And I'm just being given the one minute sign, so I have to, uh, uh, I have to wrap it up. And I think what I'm going to do for that reason is we're going to probably do a part two on this because... I'm looking at all, the, all these pages I'm holding up. I, I've only covered like three or four of them, and I've got a stack here. So there's so much more information we need. We haven't talked about vaping, right? We haven't talked about uh, e-cigarettes, uh, any of that stuff. Uh, cannabis, uh, marijuana, we haven't covered those. So we're going to do that uh, next time. Uh, anyway, so yeah, tune in for that. I'm not sure if it's going to be next week, but it'll be coming up. And I just, uh, you know, I usually don't get on a high horse. Uh, I forget that because I'm a non-smoker, I don't have to worry about these things. But, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you before we go. Oh, okay. The Dr. Gers, he presented these photos of these, these twins, identical twins, and one smoked and one didn't. They looked like they were like 10 years difference in age. It was just crazy, crazy. So anyway, I'll, I'll, those will be up on, I'll try to put those up on thereasonswesmile.com. Okay, that is all the time I have. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's at Dr. Kavitko. Visit my office Facebook page and like us. It's Dr. Kavitko and Associates. Remember that all past episodes, complete with video, are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye.
this is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588 or send an email to speaking at TheReasonsWeSmile.com.